every day over three hundred planes touch down on this runway but gatwick airport no longer belongs exclusively to the bucket and spade brigade this has become the front line in the war against drug smugglers gatwick customs officers now make more drug seizures than at any other airport in this country but despite dogs computers and sophisticated intelligence drugs are getting through for every one consignment seized probably 10 more are missed. There are no set routes, but much of the heroin seized comes from Africa, cocaine from the United States, and cannabis from the Caribbean. This man is smuggling heroin from Banjul in the Gambia. It was hidden in his shoes and found in a random check by a customs officer. 100 grams wrapped in two packets worth around 10,000 pounds in the open market. From a Nigeria flight, a woman is led away. She has swallowed and inserted around a hundred packets of heroin. Each shows up on an X-ray as a light round circle. The woman refuses to be examined by a doctor or take a laxative. So she is put in a cell while officers wait for nature to take its course. After several hours, the woman says she wants to go to the lavatory and some of the heroin starts to emerge. This is only a fifth of what's to come. If one of these was to burst inside her, she would have died, all for 2,000 pounds. The dealer would have made over 50 times that. Customs officers call the Lagos flight the Banzai run. Stuffers and swallowers, as they're known, usually travel in twos or threes in the hope that one will get through. Somewhere else on the plane will be a minder. The sort of thing we're looking for is, first of all, obviously, is the, the cost of it, the cost of the ticket. This is how much it's costing them to travel to, uh, to England and back to Nigeria. As you can see, it's 8,026 naira. That's about 700 pounds. And here's a chap that's arrived here today. But his passport, when you look back, says that in the last year, he's been here 12 times. Cannabis smuggling has become a fine art. This X-ray machine is a quick way of checking if things are what they seem. This man is arrested when officers find a tin that definitely isn't. This is a professional concealment made on a production line in Jamaica. Tins emptied and repacked, in this case with around 800 pounds worth of herbal cannabis. On another flight, four more tins. The officer was suspicious because one said orange juice, who he said would want to bring in one tin of orange juice. This woman is not breaking the law, but customs officers had to check to be sure. So that's the X-ray machine, yeah. just in case there's anything yeah. in there. And in the meantime, I'll go and have a look at my uh, endangered species thing, so if I can find anything on there. All right. The real worry, though, is cocaine, flooding into Britain's an ever-increasing rate. Flights from America are closely watched. Off this one comes a man with what are described as passport irregularities. His bags are checked very closely, nothing here, and then he's searched. In the corset, he's carrying a packet containing £50,000 worth of high-quality cocaine. What they want to do is to let him carry on, to catch a dealer who says he's meeting on a train. Let's have some extra. Oh, we can always have the old There's bill. one just gone, there's one at 10 to. We can always have the old bill standing by at Victoria. If you have, go outside, and if someone approaches you and enables me to arrest them because they are involved in this, yeah, that's, that is helpful, yes? But he won't play ball, and officers are forced to go outside themselves to see if anybody is waiting. Can you tell us what happened out there? Yeah, there were no, no takers. We put out a couple of tannoy calls for his name person's meeting him and no response. So. There were a couple of people you were interested in the crowd with it. Did they well, disappear or something? Well, we, we yes. challenged a couple of others just to see if they were meeting, but nothing at all. No. The loss of one courier and his consignment is yes. unlikely to cause the drug dealers much pain. Yes. No matter to how vigilant units, officers the, uh, on the front line are, there will certainly be more smugglers from all over the world who are willing to try. Many will get through. Robin White, News at 10, Gatwick Airport.